Henry's got a long way to go. He's still a young fellas. Our main event is underway. It is Henry and Dubby one on one for a spot in the ultimate kickoff semifinals presented by NFL Plus. The game we have all been waiting for and we know you in the chat have been waiting for. So thanks for sticking with us so long. Dubby, if you don't know who he is, probably haven't been on Twitch that long because he is one of the top content creators out there. But he's a Madden 17 Bowl champion, the oldest MCS champion of all time. And he is back to prove that dads can still rock Madden. And Dubby is your Madden Bowl Bro, what champion. is up with these Dubby guys? Super bummer, dude. Boys, I'm back from Cali. Great week. Thank you guys so much. The support has been unreal. Uh, everybody rooting for me. Everybody in my corner. It's been awesome. Sorry we couldn't get this dub. We put a good fight out there. We did what we could. But honestly, Henry is an absolute dog, man. Uh, he's a great player. He's super prepared. He's super dialed. He knows what he wants to do. He has a good game plan. Sticks to it and makes the right adjustments, man. Uh, but so all the credit to him, man. You guys saw how he dealt with everybody. I mean, he's just above and beyond everybody man he's the best player ever uh this last couple of years in the hardest era of madden he's dominated so i have nothing bad to say about him nothing negative he's an absolute dog man we got to get better we got to train everything but the support you guys showed me let me know how much of an impact i've had these last couple of years it's easy to measure money and views and success that way but i always wanted my success to be measured on the impact i've made on the community and I, I super felt that this week and it's, it was a blessing and my gratitude is, is never been higher so i appreciate you guys i haven't watched this game let's take a look at it uh, i know what went wrong we got absolutely screamed at if you guys have been tuned in you guys have been dialed and i'll start this game and we'll just let it play but you guys watch the d croft game and this is a look that d croft gave me that i i made him get out of this defense what I did against him was I flipped a lot. I motioned a lot because this is 3-3, okay? So what's going to happen is that the good old, the nickel slot corner will line up right over top of Jerry Rice. And what he'll do is he'll blitz this guy. He blitzes this guy, and that causes a loop from Montez Sweat, whoever his D tackle is or DN right here will loop around. Now, you know we're in bunch regular. We, can, we only have one play that blocks the tight end. What I did different that i've never done on stream or anything like that i actually have shannon sharp with slot apprentice and it works for the tight end here in bunch because the tight end is kind of considered a slot receiver because he can't block so the one thing i wanted to do that henry wasn't really ready for was a deep corner route on the tight end because one i thought he would run a little more through three wide and coverage a little bit more and that was just another little I needed something that he wasn't ready for. And that was the one thing I brought that maybe he wasn't ready for. Worst case scenario, I could have put Shannon Sharp at wide receiver too. But this was the plan. This was how I started the game, man. I really wanted to I wanted to get him out of this defense or I wanted to try to run against this defense. I wanted to try to get some, uh, you know, make sure he can't do it. So we flip, make him flip again. We really want this corner to not be exactly where he is. We get a run. We get a nice run here. In fact, if Jerry Rice could have held his block right there, we could have really, this really could have ate. But this is first play of the game. I wanted to throw a bomb, but he was ready for it. So we just run the ball here. Jerry Rice holds a block. Who knows? We might have had way more life. But we're actually able to get up out of there. And we actually get nine yards. So please, because like I said, I don't want to play against his, his run defense. I don't want to play against or his pass defense. I want to, you know, make it easy for myself. So for me, being able to get that, that big run on first down was big. And once again, I don't want him just teeing off and blitzing me on the slot corner. I really don't. So I'll flip. Just be annoying. Make him flip again. Everybody's kind of in shambles here. Uh, but we're going to try to run again. And once again, we get another big hole right there. That's another big run. 21 yards on two carries. Now here, I just wanted I just wanted to... My controller was vibrating. It was vibrating. The haptic things like that i don't know how to do it I'm, like i said i don't play playstation that's another thing that was i mean it's a disadvantage having to play playstation knew about it for like the last half week maybe like four days or so so i've been trying to get used to playstation but i haven't really uh what you gonna call it gotten used to the playstation so definitely a disadvantage but right here like i said my controller was vibrating crazy so just wanted to make sure i don't want no vibrating i don't want the hack the haptic the triggers or anything like that so we're looking good boys we're in his territory we got two runs now he's in wide this is exactly what we wanted 
exactly what we wanted. Please go to wide. I don't want to play against the loop. This is why we ran the ball. So first down, he's going to run wide to try to stop the run. And, it, I mean, he did pretty good, but we get a little bit. Actually, we got none. Never mind. So now, like football, now he's probably going to be in more pass defense, second and ten. And this is why sometimes the run hurts you now because now I I can't really run the ball second and ten here. So I got to pass. So, like I said, he's going to loop off the right side, loop off the uh, – we're going to ID that guy on this side. We're going to slide right, ID uh, the left side. That's pretty much what I like to do for the loop. You see we're slide left. And we get a decent – oh, no, we don't. We get this guy run right through the middle. And the worst part about this play – this is what I mean about you can slide, you can do all this stuff, to, you know, and then you just get this guy. You, you pick up the loop, but then this guy in a contain does this. When in actuality, he's running cover two here. This is cover two. This is potentially a touchdown play. Pass lead this guy inside on cover two. It has to throw over top. Obviously, square is wide open, but we can't do anything. That dude loops right in, and now we're between a rock and a hard place third and 10 against you know the best player ever so this is tough now i want to do the thing where i motion so now i motion this guy that way the slot is all the way over hester so we're not going to get looped on that side deep attack right here beautiful we get pass protection and everything honestly just <laughs> great defense i mean I, I like i like we have a man on shannon sharp here we have a purple over here then this guy, oh, I know what it was. I think when I motioned, he was still manned up on R1. So I step up. This guy's obviously bagged. This guy looks like he's going to get cross manned, and then he's going to take away square. So all in all, I mean, this is really good defense. You know, it was perfect defense. But we were able to scramble because we blocked the loop. We did the motion to block the loop. Boom, there we go. So first and 10, this is where play call. I've run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. Run the ball on first down this is play calling we quick snap here we step up in the pocket and we get the touchdown over the top jerry rice boom just like that because like i guess i've been running on first down we catch them just in straight cover zero nobody over top or nobody over top and we catch the streak this is why we use 50 50 theme team we're going to go up top we're going to catch a touchdown boom just like that love to see it great start i mean just a great play call there uh, we're looking good right we're looking good boys so great pocket we step up good blocking from the boys we put it over the top all right so now we gotta play a little bit of defense now uh my plan really is obviously you guys know i'm sending six people at him because you know why because we're going we're not <laughs> if we get pop we get pop we're not gonna sit back and cover this kid's too good but he audibles from bunch to this bunch strong. So he has four receivers on one side. This is really tough to guard because we'll be man, 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 man. And then I got to guard the running back. But you got to run through all of this. And I'll show you guys exactly what this does to my blitz, really. Uh, it makes it really tough because a lot of times this, I'm blitzing these two guys, all these guys, right? But a lot of times because there's so many receivers there's so much bumping that the blitz gets delayed it's like almost like a chip block in real football it does it's not supposed to be but that's kind of what happens a little bit but here we go we get oh i actually went in zone here i'm back these guys out in zone we got this guy coming free we got this guy coming free and we get a sack and we get a pick just like that That's good defense there, honestly. We were able to set up. Now, one time I did struggle. I go, I think I go third, third, a hard flat, still one man. It's just cover three, really. And we just lurk in the middle of the field. And we actually, Joey Blunt, the Lord, comes up with a big pick six, just like that. And we go up 14 nothing. So, I mean, boys, we're hot. Looks good. We start really hot. But the thing about 14 nothing, it's two minutes into the game. So, plenty of, so... 18 minutes a game left and we come up with a huge pick here so we're gonna do the same thing here and he goes cover three just beat that and that kind of got me off of going all zone sometimes it's easier to go zone let's see what happened on this play you see it happened right there we, we went way more max coverage here but you can actually see you actually see how they bumped this blitz right here 
and he hits the corner route. Good read by him, man. This is a tough, and he would do this really fast. Like, there really wasn't time to really do crazy adjustments, especially for me on a different. Oh, we get one free right there, but we can't guard a tight end drag. But you can see how, like, this, this little alignment kind of really makes it tough to blitz here. But we do get Sean Taylor free, but Cromartie can't guard the drag. So he starts cooking right now. It's interesting to watch his plays that he goes for, and we get nobody home free right there. And Hester just fries Tariq Woolen, so he's right back. Okay, we got a game now, boys. We got a game. But this was the one I saw that was the most obnoxious. So obviously I'm blitzing Joey Blunt here, right here in the slot. Watch Joey Blunt on this play. He's still here. I mean, tough. Your blitz never gonna get home when that happens. So now he's cooking. So now we gotta start playing some defense. We go for a run. We get a nice little juke. We fight. I mean, we got six yards. I'll take six yards every time. We gotta calm the game down. We had a 14 point lead. He came back. He got seven. So we just gotta keep it. You know, we gotta get some good drives here. Once again, we are going to slide right. We're going to go for deep corner here. Now, honestly, this is probably when I try my tight end pass. Yeah, the one pass I tried to prepare for him uh, that he wasn't ready for because obviously I stream all the time. This was the one thing I kept in the ace in my sleeve here was the uh, – and we're slide right. We get great blocking. Block picked up, picked up, picked up. We got him guarding here. We got streak. We got two zones over here, cover two. He's got this guy. And worked perfectly, man. Worked absolutely perfectly. And Shannon Sharp drops the ball. Now, I highballed this because, like, I I, I really don't. I, obviously, I see a zone here. Maybe I could have just threw this in here. But I didn't. It's, it's the second down. You know, it's early. And you guys know how the game is. You possession catch something like that. You're going to catch that a lot in this game. A lot. That was an unlucky drop on a play that I cooked up specifically for him. So, for me, it's like. That was tough. Especially now, I'm damn near in field goal range if I catch that. So now we got third down. So now what are we cooking? A little corner strike action here. We get super screamed at. I want to throw X, but it's hard to just assume that he's not going to lurk this here. He does a good job guarding a running back. Guarding here is pressed to hell. And I want to, I should hit X. But like I said, this is a read where you know his user is right there. You can't just snap and throw it. It's just guessing. And we get hit right there. So now we got a fourth down. Definitely going for this 100%. Fourth and four, you should be able to get. Now, I'm going to put DK Metcalf over there because he was getting pressed a little bit too hard on this Z spot corner or this corner route. Now, this corner route will work, right? And corner strike. I don't know if it shows it again. This will work. He just I just need time for him to get off the press, and I can high ball, and he'll beat the press. But he's going to be getting pressed to hell. Now, what Henry did all the time was he would put a, a third that presses Hester. That's a, that's a zone over there. So we're going to go double drags. I think that's what I go with. Once again, he's manned here. He's got a flat zone, a yellow zone. Honestly, might be manned up on the running back here. Presses the hell out of this guy. Actually never worked. Never came close. This is the, that's the only thing I had to try to lob it up. But he actually has a, a, a deep half there. This is good defense, man. I talked about it, man. Obviously, we got to block the loop. But this time, I do all that. And he just sends three. You know, he's manned up. Purple zone. Manned up, manned up, and I mean, just absolutely nothing, really. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Good defense. I mean, he, he bagged that play to hell. But, and I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn, that's tough. But then we come back here, we get a screamer up the middle. Boom. We get a, a big lurk with Cam Chancellor. I said we went all zone here. We went all zone. crazy that's why we got sean taylor that's why we send six because you know your loops might not get in there your loops might not you know what i'm saying but we get this guy the loops are blocked but here comes 88 speed sean taylor right up the gut uh obviously we're gonna take cam here we're gonna run over here just be, try to lurk one of these this is great lurk my am so i'm right back
All right, so same thing. We're going to try to run here, and this is where we lost five yards. That's like, how did that happen? Honestly, I shouldn't have ran on that look, but we didn't block anybody, dude. Losing five yards is so tough. That's why the run sucks sometimes. And this is the play I should have ran more of going forward. And my boys were just so bumped right there. We could have fumbled right there. We really should have. But this is the play I should have ran more of. And I will. And it didn't take me long to realize that I had to run a lot of this. But, I mean, our boy Shea Sharp is absolutely put in prison. DK Metcalf's put in prison out here. I mean, he would eventually... DK would have eventually got open. And obviously, he had to lurk. But it was a good scramble. So, third and two. We'll take it to the second quarter. Catch my breath. All right? Sometimes you got to catch your breath. This is a tough defense to play. It really is. So, we're going to motion out here. We're going vertical route. We got comeback route on the left, and we got absolutely looped to hell. I, I could have stepped up better here, I think. Let me see. Yeah, I got to be up. I got to be up right here. We, 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 can, we can definitely. The one thing about verticals, I don't know if it's because it's a pass. It's a deep pass. Sometimes they give you this auto drop back where you're back 15 yards. So this was really tough for me. Uh, I, I got to step up and let the help the running back. Dude, we have X, we have Circle, we definitely have R1, and this is a comeback route we'll have later, but definitely X for a first down. But I got this auto drop, I'm too far back. I try to hit X and I get hit. That's tough. That's a good play, we drew up a good play there. So I, looking back, I'm, I'm not mad at the plays I drew up. Now here we go, we're gonna go deep corner here. Now, honestly, this is a bad play. I shouldn't have ran this fourth down. And then right here, I'm like, all right, he's always had flat zones over here. So I'm going to put... No, this is good now. I think about it. I'm just going to put Jerry Rice on a curl in the middle of the field here. We get a double team here. We get... I mean, we get three-man rush. I mean, maybe I should just do the ball right to R1. But this is a comeback route. And, and comeback routes absolutely work on man coverage, on cloud zones, on everything. It's just about... I mean, it's just timing. And right now, Devin Hester is getting put into the sideline. I just threw it way too early. I expected him to break a little bit more. And, uh, you know, he just didn't. Maybe I could. I see. This is crazy. Like, I I don't want to just throw the ball to R1. Like, just throw it right at him, you know. But in, in hindsight, I could have just fired that, that right here. Just fired it in there for a completion. But once I see him lurking over here, I see all these flat zones. It's again, good defense. I'm just waiting on Hester. And the timing of this is thrown off in my mind right here, you know. Just way too early of a pass. I honestly would have been open. It would have been open, but like I said, the bump on this comeback route. Now this is a a third zone over here. The bump on this comeback route is absolutely just just unreal. So I expected him to break back and come back, and he got super bagged right there. So Henry starts cooking a little bit, and this is where I I you know I should have been better prepared and that's the whole aspect of inside the 10 defense offense defense everything inside the 10 should, could have been so much better here as we get pancake number 97 Aiden Hutchinson's on the ground makes the play though yeah but all in all like just should have been so much more prepared and you know I think I was but and that should have been a tackle and I just missed but when you're kind of struggling on offense like and this is just a mental part of the game when you're kind of struggling on offense your defense kind of uh, goes to shit. Like, you start thinking about defense. You stop thinking about defense. You stop. All you're thinking about is offense going forward, and here we start getting looped to hell. And we got looped on first down. And we get disengaged right here. This is just, like, you just can't play like this, you know? Now, this guy whooped the press so bad over here. I don't know what happened. Oh, he got wiped off. He got wiped off of here. So, But we get disengaged, like, right up the right up the A-gap. Like, you just can't play. I was hoping he'd stay vertical, but could have been a tutty. Oh, we don't get looped here, but we get just disengaged again. Just absolutely disengaged again here. Third down. We block well. Like, we block. We block the loop. We slide right, we ID, we block everybody, and then this guy disengages right here. Comes and get me. 
would have been a good play, man. It really would have, man. We got this in route coming. We got this guy right over the middle that he had to lurk. So he would have had DK for a play here if we just didn't get disengaged. So now we get fourth and ten. I mean, this is where I think I've thought about it. Like, I should have punted the ball here. I'm super bagged. It's kind of like a pride thing. Then we get 10 because, one, if I punt the ball, we're going to give him – he's going to take time, slow the game down. I'm just giving him short fields. And, I honestly, I have one completion at this point, you know. I mean, but – and this is, once again, deep corners just never to call because he's going to put a flat out there, a man out there. We have nothing, absolutely nothing, and three-man rush gets me. Uh, we just have, like, absolutely – like, we – like – the drag can pick up 10. Like, look how bad he doesn't get off the line here. We got man. He got – this was a bad play. This was a play I should have went with the tight end corner or something. But once again, he drops everybody out. He's got this guy cross, man. He's got man. He's got a cloud over here. He's got a zone here. He only rushes three. We're, we're bagged to hell on this play. And he gets sheds. And then not that we could do anything about it, but, you know. So once again, I gave him a short field. He runs in the end zone 21. So it's like, damn. definitely tough right there but now we got a chance we get the ball back here we can cook we gotta get something going so this is once again this it doesn't take me long to realize the plays i should have ran uh we get decent blocking here we're gonna have shannon sharp underneath he finally wins on this comeback route big play second completion in the game there you go big 22 yard play right there i believe so we're cooking now we gotta do is drive a little bit here boys that's all just drive a little bit uh hopefully get some points before halftime uh, keep this game tight knit. Now here we're gonna go. This is just like a. We're gonna go verts, streak, whip route, come back route over here, high low it over here. We we block the loop this play. Beautiful. He almost runs too fast here, and he's able to click on and knock that. That's just like a, that's just a great play that we drew up. It worked perfectly. You know, it's just this guy's right there. And, you know, I wish that I wish in hindsight, I should have had slot apprentice against this defense. I'd rather have slot apprentice in the slot than on the tight end because I'm I'm using my tight end on so many shorter routes. I've only run that corner route once and we dropped it. So once again, we're going back to deep attack. I, I, I really I, I thought in my mind, I really thought, you know, that. I was calling the wrong plays, but I really like these plays we called. You know, I really do. And we get looped to hell here. We step up as best we can. We run. I could have dumped out the X. I didn't want nothing dumb to happen. Just took a sack. We, I mean, we, we got looped to hell on this play. It's just stupid. Like, my tight end's on a route, and he's, like, it's just, oh, man, like, everything. I'm, I'm perfect. I mean, it's just the right play to call, but we just got looped. That's what I mean. It's like sometimes you block it, sometimes you don't. There's no set way to block it. I really said all week that somebody's going to look like a fool because <laughs> I'll go for a quick snap here. We're able to hit the flat with Shannon Sharp. <sighs> Wish I would have got more out of that. So fourth and six, I feel like I feel like I can't punt now. I just can't. I'm I'm behind the eight ball here. So like I I gotta go for this. But here we go. What are we gonna call here? We might go for the corner route again. No, we're going zig, verticals. I like it. The zig can definitely pick this up. The comeback route can pick this up. We're going to have the zig underneath. Good read. First down. All right. Now we got to use some clock a little bit, like big time clock. Like, I could even run the ball here, 1 million percent. We've gotten away from that. After I lost them five yards, I got away from running the ball. But for me, um,. Definitely should have more. So we're going to try to pop a run here, and we lose. We lose a yard. All right. Well, I know we did that wrong there. We, we motioned over from play side to weak side, and we didn't even – and we ran play side. So we lost the blocker. But now we're – now this is the other play I should have ran, 100% a little bit more. We got tight end corner route. Everybody's kind of bagged here, I'll be honest, boys. The tight end corner route just never developed. It just never tried for me. He did a good job of lurking it and lurking this. Like, he's bagged. He's bagged. Purple zone over here. 
he's on that guy over the middle so good defense there four for 15 looking strong boys so now we got a third and 11 fringe field goal range oh we got blocking here oh we try to go to this and he just absolutely strapped i mean i'll be honest like like my drags weren't moving like i wanted them to move I, they really weren't i mean dk can probably get this here he probably can but i just saw like coverage out like man coverage out here so it was like i'm gonna hit this but he just never really won over here so we got fourth and 11 dude like oh man one bad run one box play two two incompletions and here we go we're going verticals again all right we're going, okay and we got looped to hell <laughs> yeah we got absolutely looped to hell same thing same same setup same pass protection and this time we just get absolutely just looped to hell i don't know what we would have had if we would have had anything tight end corner crosser tight end corner but if we get we got looped to hell so i said just inconsistent blocking you know i i like i said i i slid i slid towards it i did i did everything that i know you know there's no set thing that i do once again joey blunt getting absolutely railed right here like look at my blitzer here oh that's so tough man that's so tough oh man that's tough Look at like, oh man, that's tough. Prime, you got to do better against Shannon Sharp. Now, I'll be honest. I was proud of myself on these tackles. I was, as we saw Drenny and everybody getting juked to hell in the open field. This is a one-on-one -on -one tackle, open field with a 20-year-old super best player ever. You know, this is what I'm good at. You know, this, the users here. Like, this is a tough tackle. It really is. But you just got to use the sideline. We make that tackle. So, but like I said, I was not prepared enough for this thing. I really wasn't. Um, one thing that killed me here is that I had the white guys in the game. You know, I got my theme team, Bellar linebackers in the game. So, he was able to run in. So, that's tough. So, we started hot. And we're going to go to halftime 28 to 2 at 14. And he gets the ball. So, if he scores points here. We are cooked, pretty much. And, you know, I, I, I knew the plays I should have ran. I really did. It just really wasn't... It's just, you're kind of at the mercy of do you get looped or not. And then there's a lot of plays where he didn't even blitz and he had tons of... protect. He had tons of coverage, you know. And, and this goes back to him being a really good defensive player. I don't know what else there is to tell you guys, you know, really... And here, this is when he just really, he, he had this one run that was really popping me. And he's going to put two clock on and he's going to just make this game super short. Now, this inside zone, I guess is the one with a, with a tight end over here is an extra blocker. So he gets an extra blocker over here. So it's, it definitely was popping me. And he's cool. Just He knows if he gets a field goal, the way he's playing defense. There I am, a good old camera toggle. The way he's playing defense is, you know, that's tough. It's going to be tough for me to uh, to win this game if I give up three. So we get a third and four here. We get him to third down. And we just give up a drag right over the middle for free. For absolute free. You know, this inside zone is the one that really just started mauling me bad. Oh, that was pretty good. Good job by the boys. It says when you get into a game like this, you get into this point where it's, you know, where you're up against it, where you're down by two scores, you don't have the ball. It's, it's so hard to play defense, and it's so easy to play offense. As Kenneth Walker gets out there, breaks the tackle, and just tough. And here he goes, stretch. This is the one I, I wish I was better at. Or I, I, I got to get my 4-4 four, four a little stronger here. Got, I got to get number 44 out of the game. So we give up a rushing touchdown. 
he takes four minutes off the clock so we're cooked here but now like i said we we know what plays to run this is this is a play that i want to get some of this oh he plays man coverage here and we actually get a big post over the middle touchdown And this is a play, like I said, I should have went to more. But he doesn't blitz this play. I think this is just a quarter or a half. And then this is a third, obviously. And we get beautiful pocket. We step up over the top, touchdown. So that's huge. We're going to go for two here because... And why do you go for two? Because if you get to 22, he can kick a field goal. And then you still be down two scores. So if I get two here and I can somehow hold this Lord to a field goal, I'm, I got a little bit of life. Now we got, we're not in a good spot. We got a little bit of life. So I'm like, all right, let me try to get this two pointer. I uh, cook up a play here. And of course we just get disengaged. So, you know, stick it up my butt, huh? Right boys. Like what, what do you want me to do? Three man rush. We just get instant scream that. So, I mean, that, that was pretty much, you know, put the nail in the coffin. We're really not playing enough defense. We're definitely not playing enough offense. <clears throat> Another beautiful tackle by your boy here. You know. Boom. We click on. See, that's, that's one thing you guys got to do. I hope if you learn anything from this game. Right. As we just once again, they're just hung up. Like this dude is free, but he can't run through the gap. When you see something like this is everybody's a touchdown on this play. Like right here, I'm not stopping this pass, right? I'm not stopping this. He's catching this. Click on Sherman and start taking your angle now. If you run right, if you let the computer do this, this is a touchdown. Click on Sherman, run up the field right here. Start getting your angle. Start getting your angle. Use the sideline, right? Shrink this space here. You gotta keep shrinking this space and wait till Cromartie can help you. That's what it is. Let him do a juke, a jurdle, go left, right, slow down, whatever he can, you can do to make sure Cromarty makes this tackle. That's what you need to do. So I'm just staying, just try to try to keep him to the outside. He goes back inside, tries to go there. Cromarty's helping me, and Cromarty eventually makes the tackle because we made him do too many moves there. But end of the story, man. We weren't good enough inside the ten yard line defensively. He takes the whole clock. Here we get absolutely pancaked to hell. You guys see this. Everybody's pancaked. Just boom, on the ground. My entire team absolutely pancaked. It's just like, what? What? I don't know what. He might know something. I don't know. But now he switched his defense up. He just went to dollar. So we were able to go down, score another touchdown on the king. Good dot to DK. Now, I get into these spots and it's like, you're getting blowed out. Do you quit? Like, what Like, what do you do? Do you just run? The, I'll never run the clock out on myself, man. I, I never will. I feel like that's... Did I want to? Yeah, at some point. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I did. But at the same time, you never want to, you know, quit. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to <clears throat> seem like a quitter for the most part. But we're able to move the ball. We're able to get a touchdown, Franco. Now you go for two now. I forget why you go for two. But you go for two. 28 to make it a 14 point game i assume but i don't know this time we were super bagged we held on we, we had life we had life and yeah, just a three-man rush just bagged so that's it that i mean that that was the game you know looking back we could have punted the ball and one fourth and ten shortened the game a little bit at least made them play offense all of his drives started already in field goal range. That was tough. In a game where I already had two stops, too, we caught two picks. So he played good defense. We were at the mercy of the loop, and it looped me. It gave it to me bad on a couple plays. But some plays, he just had great coverage out there, man. The kid is really good. Uh, the kid is really, really prepared. Um, another thing with punting is kind of like – I had such an advantage in the first couple of minutes that if I start punting and everything, I kind of just give that advantage back or give it up, you know, because I give him the ball back. So, and as an offensive player, you always think I can get 10 yards on this play where I probably couldn't, you know, he's playing great defense. He was prepared. He was ready to go. 
if I wish we would have caught that corner route with Shannon Sharp. I wish we would have hit that verticals where his his third was able to come back and make a play on the ball. A lot of things I wish we could have did different, but I felt like looking back at that was the first time I watched the game. I felt like I called the right plays. I did. Um, my boys were getting a little physical or they're getting a little pushed around a couple times. We came up with some big drops that, you know, could have helped us if we caught them, obviously. And then we just got looped, man. Uh, the slide protection that works one play might not work the next play. You're at the mercy of how does this slot corner and DN interact with my bunch, with my linemen, everything like that. So it definitely is tough. And, and listen, we, we were definitely on the wrong end of the loop blocking in this game. The kid is a dog, man. You saw what he did the next two opponents combined to score 10 points on him. And, and every other game was 40 plus everybody. And the next two people that played him combined for 10. So uh, I said, hindsight maybe we should have punted the ball more but i'll never think that's the move i just should have executed more maybe some better blocking catch a couple more passes maybe a couple different plays out there but all in all man i just got to give him the utmost credit dude it's a reason he's now the sixth time henry is absolutely amazing hope you guys enjoy watching him play as much as i do glad i could show out go out there throw the ball around have some fun try to compete against them we did our thing man we had we had a great first quarter Definitely got bagged. We got looped, everything. But looking back, I, I don't know what I would have did different. I really don't. Um, I got to play on PlayStation. I got to get used to that. I got to stay dialed in on the PlayStation and, and get used to those controllers, the icons, everything like that. So going forward, we're going to keep grinding, man. The train does not stop. Like, comment, subscribe, boys. I appreciate you guys. All your support. We're well over 50,000 subs. We're going to the moon, boys.